still. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gibbons vs. Games. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it again. Uh... Hey everyone, welcome to Gibbons vs. Games. My name's Damien Schneider. My name's Riley Morse. <laughs> and I just stole your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even upset. I can't do it right now. Awesome. Um, so today we're going to be having a look at Clank. This is a bit of an older game than some things that we have been doing unboxings for. Let's actually see if we can find a year on it. No time, let's no? go. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but, I mean, this is a game, I played it a little while ago, and like that, that, that was my sort of game. And he hasn't shut up about it since. No. So we finally got our hands on a copy. And I'm going to see if this is actually worth all the hype he's been giving me. Oh, not if you break the entire thing. It's cards. <laughs> There's little wooden meeples and things in there too. Um, I think that's a safety hazard. Okay. Better not show children that. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, this is this is Clank. It's a, it's a deck builder with um, like a dungeon crawler sort of board to it uh yeah i really like the art style there are a couple of kooky things that happen every now and again okay. in it but um yeah i mean overall yep. strong nice. lines yeah rather yep. simple cool yep cool. okay that's that's cool to start with so that's a rule book yeah yep okay standard sort of you know texty imagey it doesn't look too heavy that that gets a bit wall of texty um a lot of dead space in it yeah. It's obviously got some older design principles in it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, it, it is interesting to go back to an older yeah. um, game. I'll, I'll keep looking. You yeah. pull out. I'm going to see if I can hmm. find a damn year. Yep. Um, I so, might even phone research. I mean, it should just be... No. They had Let's a... Try. They had a thing. Usually people are required to put years and stuff on this. No? Okay. Um, but yeah, cool. So I mean, rule book... Um, not not particularly hefty compared to a lot of things that we've seen. Uh, there's larger font and stuff like that as mm. well, so there's not a whole lot of uh, text that you have to get your head around. Um, and here we have the board. Oh, God. A deck builder with a board. All right. Yeah. I mean, you've got... Uh, and we've got double-sided board as well. So um, here is one side. Um, and, I mean, it's... Again, it's been... I've only played it once, and it was a while since I've played, and here is the other side. I think this... Oh, my God. This no. one... Uh, so, you've got two different stages of it. I, I'm trying to think whether it's uh, due to the number of players, or whether you've just got a a more difficult uh, version of it. So It's or, not that old. It's not that old? 2016. 2016. Okay. No, fair enough. Um, cool. Uh, cool. Cool. Moving right along? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, what is what is actually the difference between that? It, it's... Oh, it's like a scene. You can only play it twice. Sorry. Oh, no. This one has a market in the middle. Okay. So you've got a couple of extra things going on here. So it might be that sort of thing where you've got Basic. introductory game. Oh, let's actually turn that around. Yep. That's your perspective. So introductory game. Um, again, just to, as a, a guess, uh, when I played it, I played with people who knew what they were doing, so we went straight to using the market, uh, and I remember that being quite interesting sort of mechanic. Okay. And whatnot in there. Sure. So, well, we're not peasants, we won't play the simple way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got lots of standard tokens here, looks like gold, uh, various symbols and abilities. Uh, we got, um, friggin' hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, which is kind of yep. weird and cool. Various treasures. On the flip side, a lot of them are hidden. Mm -hmm. So I imagine you you know you go and find them, they yeah. become random yeah. things, etc. And all that uh oh, token punchy goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um so good, good card. Stop, you know, standard I mean there's no yeah. variation on this stuff really. Mm. Yeah, it, I mean it's it's to the point where if you've got a bad quality game, it just no one sees it. Yep. Um Ooh. Dragon yeah. Bag? Yes. So this like well, I mean, this is uh, like what we saw in Lucidity. You've got to be yep. dragging um, stuff out of stuff the bag. Dragging How? it out of the bag. Sorry. Oh, shh. <laughs> Me no quiet. English goodly. <laughs> Again, maybe large-handed gentlemen might have a problem, but apart from that, it should be all right. It's, it's a decent size. And unlike Lucidity, this isn't like a laminate stamp or something. This is actually... Embroidered? In. Yeah, yeah, embroidered in. It's really nice. Yeah. It's actually a really nice bag. <laughs> oh, you have a symbol to match. You have a piece. Yes. I so don't know who and what that denotes, but 
have a guess. I mean, where the dragon is? Is yeah, there a dragon? That, yeah, there's a dragon. Uh, and so the more sort of noise and stuff that you make, which is the whole name of the game, so clank, um, right. that's when the okay. dragon starts waking up, and that's when you've got to get the hell out of it. The, um, so the it's Skulkanaut's the deck builder. <laughs> it's what you're telling me. <laughs> okay, so I imagine a pack for every player, right? Different colours? Yes. So it's what, a maximum of five players? Um, no, the black doesn't have a player symbol. So the, uh, black, the black is the dragon. Is the dragon. So there's there four players. Four players, each of which taking a different colour, a meeple and some wooden tokens, I imagine, to denote something. Right? What do they denote, then, um, if you remember? I can't remember at all. Never mind, Oh, these, these are the things that all go into the bag. They get drawn out of the bag to determine who gets affected. Right. Not a problem. And then, out of so, this very large injection mould pla plastic insert, which is bright red, mm. for whatever on. reason, we have three packs of cards. What is that? Ooh, that's Eternal, a strategy it... card game? Is that just an advertisement piece? It could be, yeah. Okay, so the art style is... Yeah, I can see what you mean. There's some weird things that occur occasionally. Yeah, um, and I think uh, in some of the more standard pieces, you see that happen more. Yeah. Um, uh, just because it looks like the... Yeah, it was a little more refined towards the end. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, overall, it's a really nice aesthetic. And yeah. you know, when this is a card on the table, uh, you're not going to... Um... Yeah, it's yeah. nice and clean. It's They are adorable. <laughs> oh my god, kobolds. Yeah. They are cute. Yeah, we like kobolds. Okay, so very basic sort of fantasy dungeon delve looking yeah. thing. I like the almost early Doom style corridor mm. look of it all. Overlord. Yeah, yeah, and you've got that on the uh, action cards here as well because you've got the the monsters, um, yep. and they're things that you can go and beat up and stuff like that to earn points. Sure. Um, yeah, you know, you get things for defeating them. All other players get plus one clank, so obviously you draw the sound of the dragon towards other people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dragon shrine. Pull plus one cube for dragon attacks. Okay, so you pull cubes to see who the dragon is attacking. Oh, really? Oy. Yes. Okay, uh, put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Interesting. Bandit Queen. That's what this special card is. That's 100% a different game. Yes. So that is a promotional card for a different game that they obviously also make. Yeah. That's a really cool art piece, bro. That's... Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting that there is so much stuff going on and the art piece is so small. To the card, but yeah. Anywho, um, that's... oh, so this is also companions. You can get monkey bot three thousand. Lol. Yeah. Rebel captain. Okay, sure. Hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yep. Looking fairly sort of queen of hearts. Okay. Looking fairly standard sort of dungeon delvey. Yeah, <clears throat> but it, it is very much sent. Um, taking the, the very D and D sort of thing that people are um, used to. Yeah. Um. Oh right. There's a there's a goblin. It's the same on both sides because that card's always out, I believe. Oh you can God. always beat up goblins because there's always goblins around. Right. Swa so these are abilities. Yes. Swagger. All yeah, right, so, so my character's going to need four of them. Right? <laughs> um, so these are your standard sorts of abilities, I think, that I've got in. No, I've got some expensive ones. So you've any of the ones that have the little... Is that the cost in the top corner? I'm not sure. Um, ah, no, you've... Mm, uh, so some of them will have costs, some of them won't. Uh, I mean, they're going to be the things that you start with and stuff like that. So I mean, some of your um, basic sort of cards are like, you, oh, I'm not even, I can't even remember. Um, sidestep is probably a basic card. Uh, you've got Stumble, and this actually, uh, when you draw it out of your deck, is just one of the, the bad cards that you want to be able to get rid of um, throughout the game. Okay. So I mean, like what you have in a lot of deck builds. Yeah, absolutely. Like you have that dead card. Yeah. In your hand. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wow, a lot of mercenary companions, huh? A lot of explorer yeah. companions, huh? Okay, well, I mean, that's that's pretty simple. There's not a lot of assets there. Yeah, well, it mainly is that whole deck building thing where it's it's all, like, the game itself exists within the cards, and then everything else just goes to comp complement it. Uh, yeah. You do have a bit more of a board presence than a lot of other deck builders. Yeah, so, so because of the board, because of the um, tokens, drawing things out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a few touches to make the 
game a bit more engaging. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and give it a slight, a little bit of a different feel and whatnot as well. So okay, um, yeah, yeah. Well, the cards are a very nice quality as per usual. There's a tiny bit of bend in them, but that's that's fairly standard and for I mean, your. This is this is going to be shuffled um, and sleeved, I imagine. I don't know. I depends if we like it enough. It's that sort of thing where sleeves sometimes do just get in the way of yeah, absolutely. Of, like quick use and whatnot. Um, I don't know. Like, there, there are a lot of cards here to sleeve. Um, hmm. Well, honestly, that's a quick one. Yeah. There, there's there's not a lot there to really unbox and unpack. It, it's going to come more from the gameplay, which is where the discussion's going to arise. Yeah. And yeah. you're on you're in my bitter competitive streaks. <laughs> my bitter competitive streak. And your willingness to humour me. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. I think that's nice and easily wrapped up then. Thank mm. you everyone for coming. I am Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. We have been Gibbons vs. Games, and we will catch you next time. I got it right that time. Yeah. That was 30 seconds of video. Jesus Christ.